Well, kia ora, welcome to the studio. I'm Monique Bradley. And I'm Melissa Grogan. Welcome to tonight's show. We are super excited to have you here. And look, we have <laughs> a guest. We are so excited. This is Beauty Club. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the very lovely Rachel Thompson. She's a very proud brand ambassador for Kathy Organics, as we all are, which is super exciting. Uh, she is also a competitive athlete, a mum, a grandmother, hot grandmother, by the way. <laughs> she is also a mortgage broker and a yoga practitioner and teacher. Welcome to the studio. You are truly Thanks amazing. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we thought we'd bring Rachel in tonight. We're having a bit of a party in the studio. I don't know if you guys are aware, but I'm feeling a bit of a party vibe. We are talking about Kathy Organics skincare. We are all super proud to use it. We've all got amazing skin thanks to Kathy Organics. And tonight we're really excited because, ladies, did you realize I'm excited about this? We've got a giveaway. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Super excited about that. <laughs> now I can see you guys. Oh, hi, Aileen. Oh, you can't play, but your question is recently you started having oily skin. Okay, Aileen, I'm going to answer that in a moment because tonight we're giving a giveaway to somebody who asks an amazing, amazing question. And I'm going to show you guys, we've got a screen to show you that will give you both a special offer. So there's your special offer right now, 10%. Alyssa, please, do the, do the honours. For the month of August, with any online purchase, you will receive 10% off and free delivery within New Zealand. That is absolutely true. Now, also this month, we are super excited because tonight's live stream, we've got a special prize giveaway. Tonight, we're giving away a full-sized aloe cocoa eye cream. Mm. So for those of you who are noticing, particularly at this time of year, you know how our skin's getting a bit dehydrated? Yeah. And we're going into a new season, and you might experience a little bit of dryness around the eyes, maybe dry and chapped lips. Well, you don't want to put this on your lips. It's perfect for your eyes. Alyssa, you've been using the aloe cocoa eye cream, okay. right? Now, what do you think of it? I love it because the aloe is so soothing, and it really reduces puffiness, and it makes my eyes feel hydrated. Absolutely. Which sounds strange, but it works. Well, you want that. Like, I had, we had somebody talk to me about it who said, it's so good because when I get into a fight with my boyfriend and I've been crying, I just pop on my aloe cocoa eye cream afterwards <laughs> and it takes away all the that. puffiness. <laughs> well, there you go. There's a great endorsement. So, we're going to give away a full sized aloe cocoa eye cream for somebody who has a great question. And we've already had one in so far. This is lovely Aileen Martin who says she can't play the video, but she wanted to ask this question of us anyway. So, when you get to watch this on demand, Demand, Aileen will give you the answers. Her question is, I can't play it, but my question is, recently I've started having oily skin again, dry cheeks, but I also have patches of sebaceous dermatitis. And what's the best product to use on my skin to wash and moisturize? That's a really big question. So you guys, you've struggled the most with oily skin out of the three of us. What's really worked for you? Um, so for oily skin, adding more oil, Sounds wrong, but it works. If you add the right oil for oily skin, it can combat that oily skin. Totally agree. Now, on the flip side, Aileen, I know you're around the same age as Rachel and I, So, because I know Aileen. So she's around the same age. Have you noticed as you're heading, you're in, I won't say what age you are, but you're the same <laughs> age as me. We're somewhere in the 40s. <laughs> yeah. Have you noticed changes in your skin? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. What have you noticed? Uh, I've noticed it's much drier and thinner and um, it's harder to get the moisture in. And I actually do have quite oily skin too, although it's getting dry. Mm -hmm. And I use the Marula Serum as well. So although um, Alyssa and I are quite different ages, we can actually use the same products. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty interesting, eh? Yeah. I think it's amazing too. I use the same products as you guys yeah. as well, and my skin's completely different. My skin's dry and sensitive. So we've all got completely different skin types using the same yeah. products. 
So Aileen, what you want to do, and I do know this because I've been working a lot with um, health experts as well. The one thing you want to do if you are experiencing dermatitis is actually to look at what's going on inside your body. What's going on on the outside is actually a product of what's happening within. So it sounds like with dermatitis, we're talking about inflammation on the skin. So you've got to address what's going on in your gut primarily, and you want to look at what's going on with your liver as well. It sounds like it may be a good time to look, you know, we're heading into spring. It might be a good time to start a detox on the inside and one of the things I probably recommend is to drink lots more water and add a little bit of lemon juice to your water so treat the inside first that's going to help detox that liver and hopefully when it comes to calming the inflammation having something with turmeric in it which you can absorb through your gut is actually going to help with the inflammation on the outside some of the things I would recommend is we all use the bright cleansing lotion which is a cleanser for your skin <laughs> Why I love it, and you guys, I don't know what your experience is, but why I love it is because I have dry, sensitive skin. It doesn't irritate because it's not a foamy cleanser. It's a cream cleanser. So it adds hydration at the same time. What have you experienced exactly with that cleanser? exactly the same for me. So having an oily skin, people think that they need to kind of scrub it away mm -hmm. um, with <laughs> soap. Strip all the yeah, oil off. Yeah, strip all the oil off. And I find that I love the creaminess, and I love that it's really gentle. Yeah. What do you think, Alyssa? I love that it's hydrating. As we've said, we always thought that you needed to strip the oil. This is putting back the hydration that you've just stripped out. Yes, I totally agree. So if you're using any sort of chemicals on your skin or any face wash or any soap that's really foamy, I want you to stop that straight away because that's what's going to create irritation. The other thing I would suggest you to um, to use is absolutely go for something natural. We all use the Cathy Organics range because there's no parabens, no nasties, no bleaches, no harsh chemicals in there, and it's not tested on animals, which is really important. Um, but most importantly, all their ingredients are designed to actually calm the skin down and calm any irritation down. So a lot of people have been having great success with the rosehip, the organic rosehip oil that's part of the Cathy Organics range. Now you both use that product too. What do you love about it? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, beautiful. Makes my skin smooth, silky, hydrated. Love it. Excellent. Rachel, what do you think? What, how do you find the organic uh, rosehip oil? Uh, I was just talking about it earlier, saying that um, I've, I've had a general anaesthetic recently and it's really played, my, it's played havoc with my skin. And I find the rosehip oil really calming and it's kind of like my go-to and it feels like the, the soothing. Mm, yeah, it's, I totally it's, agree. And in a couple of days, it can really make a difference to blemishes as and well. I, I look, I totally agree. So on there, you can see in the middle there, that bottle with the squeezy top, that's actually the rosehip um, oil of Brightening Plus. What that's designed for in particular, I'll just point at the product. That's the one, that one right there. I won't show you my plaster, but I'll show you my pretty fingers. <laughs> it's that one right there. The rosehip oil Brightening Plus is a beautiful, pure rosehip oil, but it's got added ingredients in there like grapeseed oil and kiwi, uh, kiwi fruit seeds. What that's designed to help with is the signs of aging as well. So a really wonderful, very powerful product. Why I like it is my skin and me are both smell sensitive. So anything that's too highly fragranced will actually create irritation on my skin and I can use that product absolutely fine. So rosehip oil, one of the best things, loaded with omegas. Omegas are great for building the lipid barrier to get rid of or basically protect the skin against the free radicals that can um, cause irritation. When you have a stronger lipid barrier in your skin, I don't know if you, you know this, but I don't know if you know this, the stronger the lipid barrier is, the less likely you are to have blemishes and irritation. Right. Ah, so what's a lipid barrier? <laughs> you know when we eat for comfort and we end up with a little extra barrier around our tummies? It's kind of like that. It's extra fats in the skin. So you want to really build up that lipid barrier because it helps you look younger and it actually helps protect your skin as well. So there you go. Aileen, I hope that's helped. Oh, we've got some more questions coming in in the bottom. Um, here we go. I can't see them. Where are they? Oh, hi, Cathy Organics products. Are they available in India and Pakistan or not? Yes, yes they are. You can order online worldwide. So um, they deliver in New Zealand. We have free shipping. And we also have, um, uh, what I can tell you too, is if you're ordering from around the world, you will also receive a little gift. A little bit of a technical glitch right here but you can see some beautiful products there in the background 
Um, Frank Richards, hello to you. Hi, Katie Dilks, good to see you as well. Um, so all you need to do to get these products, by the way, is you can head to the Kathy Organics website, www.kathyorganics.com, and you can, all the prices are on there, and you can even search for the particular um, challenges that you have with your own skin. So you can absolutely find the solutions for you. All right, let's just take a look here. Right, we've got a bunch of questions that have come in, so awesome. we're going to answer your questions right now. We've got a whole bunch of screens which have different um, questions on there that people have messaged in over the last week. And remember too, if you've got a question, send it in because we're here to help you guys. Send your question in if we can help and answer that for you. You may even win a full-size product. So, you know, <laughs> get asking. Let's take a look at the first question right now. Okay, I've had this question and what can I do about adult acne so the first thing that I can tell you guys because I've done the research is that adult acne is basically called P acnes and it causes redness and inflammation sticky skin cells can clog up your pores which is why exfoliation is so important it happens because of excessive oil production it can be linked to your hormones and it can be linked to your phone against your face your greasy hair against your forehead, or even wearing tight clothes for those of you who may have experienced acne on the back or around the body. Okay, so Alyssa, I'm gonna shoot this one to you because you've struggled with acne. I hope I'm okay to talk about this yeah. and you feel comfortable. And I've just turned adult. You have just turned adult, <laughs> so it's a, it's a good sure. question for you. For so sure. can you tell me, first of all, living with acne, what has that experience been like for you? So living with acne made it very difficult for me to be confident. I didn't want to be in people's photos. Like, I couldn't be in a photo without makeup. I didn't feel comfortable. I wouldn't be talking to a camera, camera right now <laughs> um, just without makeup. And I have little to no makeup on right now. And you look great. Just you eyebrows do. That's and yeah. eyeliner. That's all that I've done. Nice. And that's all I need to do. Nice. So normally, what would you do when, when you got a breakout? What would you, what's your normal cause? Of, so what I'd would you normally do? Normally, go for my exfoliator. Which no, before I'm not talking about now because you got great no, skincare now. That was before. I'd oh, go really? for my exfoliator every single time, and I'd go yeah. for my um, prescribed medication yeah. that I'd put, apply on my skin, and it would dry it out. Yeah. But how did that leave your skin? It left my skin dry and yep. it would cause an overproduction of oil to yep. combat that. Yep. And then I'd get more acne. Oh, there and you go. Raw. Mm -hmm. yep. raw, dry, yep. painful. It would hurt because yep. it would stretch the skin. Yeah. Wow. So. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> uh, Rachel, did you ever struggle with acne? I, um, as an adult, so I gave up smoking in my mid-twenties and for the next 10 years, I really struggled and, and not probably the same as you did where I had it, it you know everywhere and your skin's so much more amazing than when I saw you months ago you know like <laughs> it's so amazing, it, just, eh? it just shows how much changed but but all the things you just talked about I experienced and I would be standing in front of a class of people and I'd have this terrible skin and I'd done exactly what you'd done and I didn't have medication but I used to dry it out I used to exfoliate and then I had oily skin and it would react and it was sore and it was just horrible it is it was really nice. horrible yeah. but I addressed what you talked about earlier so I looked at what was going on the inside and I was obviously obviously detoxing as well but looked at adding some stuff that people would have thought I shouldn't have added which is oils and yeah wow so you did it and yeah. you did it all naturally yeah perfect yeah. that's what we love here at beauty club yeah. and that's why we love Kathy <laughs> organics it's so natural it's amazing for me I have struggled with hormonal acne so acne particularly through the chin a little bit through here never really anywhere else so for me it's about supplementation so I'm making sure my adrenal glands are supported so I take um, supplements for that something that can help you if you want to take supplements to support it is evening primrose oil really good for ladies for balancing their hormones and then for me I can't use a lot of oils on my skin so interestingly enough while well, you guys can I tend to only use an oil as a night cream where I want to do cellular repair at a really deep level while I'm sleeping so I'll use a cream moisturizer during the day and because I'm 
Well, I think I move around, but I sit on the couch on the computer most of the day. <laughs> but in my head, I'm busy. Um, so, um, yeah, so I tend to go for creams during the day, um, which will help protect my skin against the free radicals in the environment. And then I'll go for a deep restorative oil on in the evening. And to be honest, it's exactly the same oil that I mentioned before. It's on the front of our table here in the beautiful red bottle. It's a beautiful, it's Rosehip Oil Brightening Plus. So it's designed for pigmentation, uh, which happens to most of us in our 30s and 40s. So designed to repair that and restore the hydration to the skin. So if you're looking a little tired and haggard, like sometimes I feel, <laughs> um, that will really help with that. But it will give you lots of nourishment, loads of vitamin E in the air and lots of omegas, which help restore the skin and build the lip lipid barrier while you sleep. So truly amazing. All right. We'll take a look at the products here, right here, I believe. There we go. Pete did a nice zoom in there. So you can see we've got skin brightening cream out the front tonight. Tonight, And the Rosehip Oil Brightening Plus. These are products we all use and the exfoliator too. Really good for helping you with problem skin. Whether you've got acne, you want to fight the signs of aging. Or if you want to um, help just look and feel more fabulous. That, it's that amazing. Let's take a look at the next pain point. All right. What can I do about age spots or pigmentation? We get asked this all the time. What the actual cause is, is a lot of people think, oh, it's just I'm getting old. It's got nothing to do with your liver and it's got nothing to do with your age because kids can get these spots as well. It's got everything to do with the ultraviolet damage to the cells in your skin. So they're actually called melanocytes. When they're on your face and they're big patches, they might also be called melasma. You might know them as just pigmentation spots or hyperpigmentation. So basically something happens to the cells in your skin when activated by ultraviolet light and it produces more melanin. And so that basically leads to those darker spots on your skin. The result, spots that crop up on the sun exposed parts of your body. All right, now you guys, you're still, you still haven't had any pigmentation spots, right? No. But you've I had. Hope not. You hope not. <laughs> what have you done to protect? Because your skin is so pale and, and yep. beautiful and <laughs> gorgeous and flawless. What what steps are you taking to protect your sun, your skin from ultra ultraviolet damage? So in the morning, I will use this fifty SPF fifty plus sunblock. Yep. So that will be my go to as a moisturizer and also because it is hydrating and also just to protect my skin for during the day. And because I don't wear makeup, which could be that extra protective layer, which you shouldn't do, but you could use it, I have to use that sunblock. Excellent. Nice work. Now you're using that and you're, you're only, what, 18? Mm -hmm. 18. So she's already doing the protection work. I wish I had have done that years ago. What you need to know is if you've got kids and they're out in the sun, you do need to use a sunblock because pigmentation spots can start forming from in children as young as 10. Mm. I know. This is crazy, right? Yeah. Okay, so for you, have you experienced pigmentation? Yeah, I did uh, quite a few years ago when I went on the pill and um, that actually had an effect as well. But um, being pregnant, um, that had an effect on my skin and also I spent a lot of time out in the sun. So having a really good sunscreen is huge. So, super yeah. important, yeah. especially because you're in the waka armour all the time. And the water, um, the sun reflects off the water a lot more. So it's true. a lot harsher as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So one of the things I didn't put on the screen is that, yes, your hormones can come into play when it comes to pigmentation or melasma. So be mindful of that as well, using the contraceptive pill. Again, look at your internals. Your internals will actually mm. show, it will contribute to what's on the external. But at the same time, if you do experience pigmentation or anything like that, a lot of people go to hydroquinone creams or bleaches. If you do that and you go out in the sun, it will make your pigmentation worse. Mm. I speak from experience. So I ended up with pigmentation. I basically looked like Batman. Um, a combination of hormonal imbalance and also going out in the sun and use, trying to use a bleach on my skin to um, whiten those pigmentation spots. It doesn't work. In the Kathy Organics pro products for people with pigmentation, they use extracts like mulberry and licorice and ginseng. Mm. And those are all designed to actually slow down the production of melanin. Right. So you end up naturally with a more even skin tone and brighter skin. And one of the things we always love to do is the back of the hand oh, test, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. So we're going to show you guys really quickly how you can get whiter, brighter skin. And we're going to do that tonight using the uh, Kathy Organics exfoliator. So ladies, 
Here we go. I've got you each a flannel. Okay, your towels. Get prepared. <laughs> and to show you guys, if you want to start, if you want to moisten a little bit of your flannel there, and um, we're gonna we're gonna show you guys in live in real time how it all works. So basically, inside inside the product here. Um, instead of using microbeads, which is what a lot of exfoliators do or have used previously, yep, you can start. Cool. There you go. Um, one of the, the key products here to do the scouring of the skin in a really gentle way is actually ground up walnut shell. So what that means, first of all, if we think of walnuts, walnuts are actually loaded with vitamin E. And vitamin E is super, super good for the skin because it's really hydrating. And this is one of the things that the people, people notice actually about this exfoliator is that their skin doesn't end up super, super dry. Now I'm gonna reach over right now and grab a little bit of moisture as well because I wanna do it with you guys too. So when, whenever we do this test, and I do this live all the time because it amazes me, my hands from doing this test over the last few years have actually ended up two different colors. <laughs> and one of my hands has the pigmentation spots and one of my hands is completely neutral. So the first thing people notice when they try the product is that you get that kind of gentle kind of um, cleansing feeling, but it's, it doesn't feel too harsh, does no. it? No, It's really gentle, and a lot of people think with exfoliators that, oh, it's gonna be really hard on my skin. So even somebody like me, who has really sensitive skin, I can use this product. So I use this twice a week in the shower. How often are you guys using your exfoliator? Um, mine's once a week. Once a week? Yeah, and once a week. Twice a week as I'm well. Wash my hair. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, nice. So really, really, really good, even for sensitive skin, for oily skin, Pretty much every type of skin. Now, ladies, if we put out our hands and do the compare, I mean, look at that, Alyssa, that's crazy. And we're gonna, Pete's gonna zoom around so you guys can see. There's automatically fresher, brighter skin. So wiggle your fingers there, or whoopsie, and show me which hand is the hand that's not exfoliated. Can you see the difference in the brightness? And wiggle the fingers now that are exfoliated. Completely different. Look at that. And Pete, do you just want to zoom the camera around to mine as well? Okay. <laughs> so, not exfoliated. And this hand has age spots on it. Wow. And yeah. this one is the one that I do all the time for demos, which is exfoliated. <laughs> that is just crazy. But there you go. It gives you an idea of how it works. So, with the Kathy Organics products, it's designed to lighten, to brighten, to refresh, to replenish your skin and hydrate your skin. So, if you're struggling with melasma, one of the first things I recommend is you need the set down here on the on the front of the table. This is the uh, skin brightening set, and it's infused with the essences of kiwi fruit seed. There's pohutakawa in there uh, and grape seed, and that's all designed for both anti-aging and slowing down pigmentation production and breaking down your pigmentation so you end up with beautiful skin. Hi everybody who have just joined our live stream tonight. It's a live Q&A. If you've got questions about your skin, send your questions on through. We're, we're all beautiful users of um, the Kathy Organics range. This is Alyssa Grogan. Hi Alyssa. Hello. This is the lovely Rachel Thompson. Hi Rachel. Hello. I'm Monique Bradley. <laughs> I'm super excited to share this with you. Now tonight, while we're live, if you ask a really good question, you're in the draw to win a full-sized aloe cocoa eye cream. And from our experience, it's amazing, right? Yeah. How, what delicious. do you guys think of it? Yeah. Amazing. I love the coolness effect that it has it does it's really good now a lot of people i know message in and, and go oh but if you use too much eye cream can't your eyes end up really puffy have you had that experience no no i haven't um i i love putting because because it is so moisturizing and soothing i love putting on quite a good dab of it but no, <laughs> yeah. no i don't find that i definitely not puffy no, no not at all no. so there you go that's the prize on offer tonight so if you guys want to ask a really good question do and you may just win that prize right we've got another really important skincare question coming up here's the question what can i do about scarring it's a really good question now the reason we get scarring is it's a result of the damage to the skin's collagen and elastin and it could be trauma from surgery injury or even severe acne so Alyssa, have you had any scarring at all? No, you're okay? No scarring from acne? No scarring from anything. You are so, anything. you are so lucky. Rachel, have you had any scarring? Yeah, I have had scarring, yeah, mm. from, from injury, mostly. <laughs> injury? <laughs> yeah. Well, I've had quite severe scarring, and can you tell? 
No. Mm -hmm. So I actually um, went through a plate glass window when I was about six years old oh, and I okay. cut open the top of my head. Wow. Can you see it in my hairline? No. No, you cannot. And I also had surgery when I was 11 under here. And it's only now that you'll probably notice because I've pointed it out, right? Yeah, yeah, really fine line. Yeah, really fine line. So to help with the scarring, my own scarring, particularly because it's on my face, um, I actually have used rosehip oil. Nice. So that's one of the best things that you can actually use for scarring. What you want to do is you want to rebuild the elastin and collagen. And of course, you may never get rid of it. Mm. But you can give nourishment to the skin to help cover, um, to grow fresher, brighter, better skin cells to really help. And I know people who have been um, burnt. I've also um, been been burnt uh, throughout my lifetime as well. So I have quite a large burn scar on the back of my leg, which nobody would really notice because I used rosehip oil on it. Oh, that's cool. I know, right? That's amazing. I know. So rosehip oil is really a fantastic a fantastic product. Actually, I want to say a shout out to beautiful Tracy Marie Huia, who is um, watching. Kia ora, Tracy. Now, I know Tracy, um, who has also been quite severely burnt as well and is a, 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 an ambassador for um, a, for Burns New Zealand. Um, she's been using... She's been using the rosehip oil on her burn scars oh, as nice. well, and it's softened the skin. So often with burns or with injuries, um, the scarring can become quite tough, yes. and it can feel yeah. quite different. Now, I know with burn scars in particular, you don't sweat. So if you no. have quite a large part of your body or your skin that's actually been burnt, as an example, your skin no longer perspires. Mm. So by softening up the skin, it just feels a lot a lot nicer and um yeah, just a lot, a lot, There's a lot more comfortable. Yeah. A lot more comfortable. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the next skincare question. <coughs> Very similar to scarring. What can I do about stretch marks? Mm. Now, stretch marks aren't just for people who have been through pregnancy. They're for people like me who have gained and lost and gained and lost and lost and gained weight over the time. It could happen because of Growing too fast as well. So kids who are growing super, super fast may get stretch marks. And the result is that you end up with these pinkish, reddish, purplish, or whitish grooves, in fact, that can appear on the breasts, the hips, the stomach, the legs, and your bottom as well. Now, they are best treated. It should have said when they are still red. <laughs> Not with still red. That's a Sounds wine. Sounds like a wine. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> so, okay. Alyssa, you're very tall. Have you ever ended up with stretch marks anywhere? Mm. Um, yeah, from growing too fast, younger, they just kind of never went away. So along my sides and on my legs, I have white stretch marks. That Excellent. Are quite long but they're not that noticeable but when you look you know they're there <laughs> okay excellent excellent so even though they're white you can still treat mm -hmm. them so Kathy with Kathy Organics has um, two options in fact you could probably use three their marula rich serum would, would work really well for that to heal them up you can use a skin firming oil as well so they have a skin firming oil which would work really well they have a stretch mark oil as well which is perfectly blended yeah. for that uh, but you can also use rosehip oil so you've got four four options there. So whatever you've got at home, put put um, just a few a couple of dabs of that or a couple of drops onto your skin, um, onto the area where you've got your stretch marks, and you want to rub it in so it's nice and warm and feels all lovely. And over time, your skin will start to to basically repair. You'll never quite get rid of them. Hopefully you will, because you're still young and fabulous. So hopefully treating them now will really, really help. But doing something with one of those oils will really help. What about you? Yes, um, on the side of my butt um, from right. being pregnant. So I think there's that, um, obviously, that gain of um, additional weight that you do during that period of time. And mine are white as well. But you do in the right kind of, or the wrong kind of light. You can obviously see them. Um, but yeah, and, and I've known for a long time that oils do actually help. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Again, what you want to do is add the elastin, try and rebuild the elastin yeah. and the collagen back in under the skin. Yeah. And the only way to do that is either to take collagen tablets yeah. or, or to eat foods that are high in collagen. You can add maybe some more um, uh, like fish, like uh, salmon and tuna are really good for helping you build the collagen again. But what you ideally want to do is put something topical on there to repair from the outside as well. Mm -hmm. So something like the Skin Firming Concentrate, which you can see there in the back in the beautiful purply pink container. Um, organic argan oil would work as well. Any of those oils are ideal. Um, but particularly, particularly you want to have a look on the Kathy Organics website and look for the uh, Skin the Stretch Mark oil yes. is the one for you. Um, I have stretch marks from... 
here down to about here. I'm literally covered. I look like the map of the world. Uh, from weight loss and weight gain. No, I'm not even kidding. I have a whole lot that are white, which I got when I was a kid. And then I've got the red ones as my body still continues to change and do its own fabulous things. Um, never too late to start. So even if you are at that stage where you've got the white stretch marks, don't fret. Stretch mark oil is for you. All right, let's take a look at the next question. By the way, the stretch mark oil is also good for those of you who are going through pregnancy as well because it yes. has basically no aroma, which is fantastic. Yes. Now, one of the questions I got asked by our lovely Alyssa on her way here tonight was, in fact, what can people do about rosacea? So if you've never had rosacea before, take a look at this beautiful goddess on screen. I love her. I love the fact that she was brave enough to be photographed mm. like this. Rosacea is often seen as some facial flushing like you see there, particularly through the nose and the cheeks like that. It can vary in the way that it presents. It can be irritating. It can be a little itchy, often a little bit like acne. Um, I've experienced it and I had tiny little, almost like tiny little blisters all over my cheeks. And right now, now there's no, unfortunately, there's no cure for rosacea, but there are ways that you can help reduce the inflammation. Okay, so you were talking to me about a lady that you know who's mm -hmm. struggling with rosacea. What are her yeah. symptoms? Can you tell me what she's experiencing? Mostly redness in the cheeks. I need to find out more, but redness in the cheeks I feel is a big problem cool. and you can't cover it up with makeup. Right, so that's that's a lot of inflammation going on there. Have you ever experienced yeah, rosacea? I have, yeah, and I... I feel like looking at that lady on screen, like I felt like that when I was pregnant and I think it's that extra heat that's in your body and um, and it was actually really painful and, and you know, a bit like acne, right? Um, you get to the point where you sort of have this almost a raw wound, um, you know, and, and I was sort of feeling that and I was thinking, oh, rose hip, so soothing. <laughs> you know, it's like you feel like you need to just put the soothing cover and yeah, if I knew then what I knew now. You, you would, you would be, be able to treat it, right? Rose hip. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, the thing that I know um, from, you know, working with the health professionals that I've been working with is, again, when it comes to rosacea, there's two things you need to look at. What's going on internally, which is creating this inflammation on the outside, and what can you do to reduce the inflammation? So it's said in that screen, there is no solution. There's no cure for rosacea at the moment. Mm -hmm. So how can you make yourself feel comfortable? Well, from my experience of having struggled a little bit with it, You've got to look at the skincare that you're using right now. So if you're not using Kathy Organics, chances are something you're using either in your makeup, it could be your shampoo, it could be your perfume, it could be anything that's basically used on your skin can yeah. actually trigger that response. It can either be that externally or something that's happening internally. So as I mentioned earlier, something like turmeric, if you want to take something internally, turmeric is wonderful for calming the gut, which can often be a trigger for mm -hmm. rosacea as yeah. well. And um, it will help reduce the inflammation. You've got to address what might be happening in your liver as well. So you never know what's going on there. So a little detox may help, but go gentle, gentle, because if your skin's already reacting, it's protesting, and you don't necessarily want to aggravate it anymore. So you want to go really gently. When it comes to something topical, if you're reacting to something in your environment or you're reacting to an, uh, maybe an irritant like a perfume or something that's going on in your hair care, it could be anything, mm. what you want to do is work on that lipid barrier again. So your lipid barrier is the protective raincoat in your skin that fights the toxins, that fights the free radicals, that keeps out those impurities. And it will help with you know people like me who are sensitive or who are having irritation. One of the best things for that, as you mentioned, rosehip oil. Yeah. It's crazy. It's been used for hundreds of years. Yeah. Queen Victoria loved it. Yeah. And it's been used, I believe it was used like by the Aztecs or the Mayans or one of those, one of those um, groups of, of nationalities of people. Amazing product. It's gentle and it's sensitive. I know it's um, a lot of British people use it. Oh. I know, right? I knew a heap of British people who all used rosehip oil as a moisturizer and as their night cream. Maybe it was like their barrier between the pollution. I believe it, yeah. I believe, I believe yeah. it is. And that's actually on that point, 
or when you have a strong lipid barrier in your skin. So particularly if you're watching from around the world and you might be in countries like China or, or India where there is a lot of pollution in the air, yeah. you need to use something protective on your skin because not only are you inhaling that pollution, it's being absorbed through your skin as well because your skin's your biggest organ, right? So any sort of barrier cream that you can put on your skin and rosehip oil is a great example of that. It will absorb really gently into your skin, but it will help build that protective shield to keep out those nasties. Oh, rice oil is the winner on the oh, day, isn't it? It is totally. Yeah. Excellent. Now, I believe we've got one more key point that I'm always very keen to talk about. What can I do about aging and wrinkles? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Now, we all have slightly different experience with that. It can be the result of dehydration, too much sun exposure, stress is a big one. You, a lot of people forget that stress can, can really irritate. Um, and the health and gut problems can be a cause. So what are we going to do about it? Alyssa, I'm going to start with you. Now, I know you were saying to me, I don't know anything about skincare, about skin aging and all those sorts of things. But you do because you're already taking preventive mess, um, preventive preventative measures do you want to tell everybody what what you do to ensure that you will look this great when you're in your 50s <laughs> so i do actually use the skin brightening cream um because it does help take preventative measures against skin aging yeah it certainly does it's a wonderful product it's really good for tartlets like me and like rachel who are a little further down the racetrack, I'll just say, <laughs> and who want to really help maybe with pigmentation. Um, most importantly, hydration is what you get from this, particularly at your age. Now, you also use sunscreen all the time? Yes, need Perfect. to use sunscreen every day. And SPF 50 is the only option. Kathy Organics also has a great one. Now, what have you been doing about aging? Because you look fabulous, and you've been <laughs> in the sun. Yeah, lots. You've been, where have you just been, Thailand? Yeah. I mean, seriously, yeah. it's no wonder you're super brown. But what, <laughs> what, do, what do you do to protect your skin? Um, definitely sunscreen. It's huge. As a kid, I spent so much time in the sun without sunscreen. It's terrible. Getting burnt so and, um, you know, trying to take protective measures by wearing, like, sunglasses and wearing sunscreen and wearing a really good moisturiser, so having that hydration as well so that your skin isn't actually dry. So, um, and it would be good to be a little fatter because I'd have some more lipid barrier because <laughs> my face <laughs> is, is quite fine, um, a quite a, a sort of bony structure. But, you know, often when I carry a bit more weight, people will often say that I look more well, but often that's because what what wrinkles I do have are kind of filled out, I think. Yeah, so that's it, interesting. It, uh, yeah, it's an interesting one. I yeah. don't want to advocate for weight or weight loss or weight no. gain or anything like that, but... I agree when you do have plumper skin. Yeah. Plumper skin can come from hydration though as well. Yeah. So if you're noticing that your skin might be looking a little extra wrinkly and the first place you the first two places you're going to notice it are around the eyes and under the chin particularly as we get older. The best thing you can do right now is add more hydration and you want to add something that's got lots of fats in there. So that's why, again, rosehip oil is one of the best things you can use. Got lo loads of omegas in there. Omegas are really good for um, building that lipid barrier. It's got antioxidants antioxidants in there which can also um, help fight those free radicals free radicals are one of the causes of yeah, um, and of aging as well yeah. and you want to use a really good SPF and the reason why an SPF particularly the Cathy Organics one is good for UVA and UVB rays UVB rays are what burn us UVA rays are what age us now those UVA rays can come through the glass in your car they can come through the window in your home and affect your skin. So it doesn't matter what time of year, what part of the world you're in, sun, sunblock every day. Question come in, Rochelle. Lol, that's me. I have a fat face, less wrinkles. <laughs> I love you. That's fabulous. And I don't, I don't, we don't need to use the F word. We need to say well endowed with collagen and elastin. <laughs> How does that sound? It's I love make it. you look younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. I'm actually 175. But I've got lots of plumping in my, in, my, in my face and my skin and my body. Um, so yeah, so we do have a giveaway. So we're, we're heading away very shortly, but we, I'm going to show you really quickly what tonight's giveaway is. So here it is, Beauty Club giveaway. You've got two minutes left to send in your questions. So Rochelle, you're on there. Ask us a question. You may, you may just win yourself a prize. Doreen, I can see you watching as well. Send us in a question. You may just win a prize. We're giving away a full-size aloe cocoa eye cream tonight. 
So you've got less than two minutes to ask a question. Now I've seen actually some messages come in through Messenger. So I'm going to have a look here in case somebody is too scared to ask in the stream. And while Let's you, have a look. While you check that, if I um, ask a question that I asked when I was actually looking at Kathy Organics as a product, yes. how do I choose which products to use? Oh, that's a really good question. Because it's kind of a delicious smoothie of goodness, right? Yes. When you go on the website and you're like, I'll have one of those, one of those, 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 those. <laughs> and, and I've done a little bit of that. Yeah. But um, it can be expensive <laughs> to go and buy a few different serums. Wow. Right. I, I, look, I totally agree. Yeah. I think the answer to that is on the website, you can actually search under requirements. So if you want to look at anti-aging, you can do that. You can um, There's a drop-down tab on the top of the website, so that gives you an idea. I, I Pretty much what I can tell you is these products here are the most popular, and they're suitable for all of our different skin types. Yeah. So a great question, Rachel. And um, basically, you kind of can't get it wrong. So the price points are also really good on the product. So if you try something and you think, wow, I really love this, keep going. If you're getting the results... If you try it and you go, mm, I'm not sure if this is the right one for me, the next time you order, try a different product. Mm. So all of the oils are amazing. So whether it's the Marula mm. serum, whether it's the Argan oil, whether it's one of the rosehip oils that you decide to, to invest in, in your skin, and it can work for your, your price point as well, whether you want to spend around the $25 to $30 mark or the $70 mark. Yeah. Go for what suits your budget. All of them will work. So the argan oil, as an example, can work in your hair, on your skin, on your nails and your cuticles. Mm. It also works on your elbows and on the soles of your feet where your feet nice. get really dry. So yeah. that's a really good multi-purpose oil. If you really want to focus on the building of that lipid barrier in the skin, you always want to go for younger, plumper, more hydrated skin, rosehip oil is your answer. Mm, nice. When it comes to something that you want deep nourishment, and you want to really target those signs of hydration. Maybe you've got a lot of high dehydration around the eyes. You're actually going to go with the Marula serum. Mm. And the Marula is quite matte as well. Yes, so it is. I heard that mentioned actually on uh, Kathy Organic's um, promotion one time about how um, Marula, and particularly the cream that we're both yeah. using, is, is much more matte. And so you don't get that sheen when with someone like mm -hmm. us that, you know, has got quite an oily skin already. So, Perfect. yeah. Perfect. Rochelle Knight has just said, how can you tell if you need moisturizer for dry skin or you need rehydration cream? They kind of sound like the same thing to mm, me. Yeah. But a good question. Basically, if you um, a way to know if you've got dry skin is as soon as you wash your face and you get out of the shower, if your skin starts to feel warm, like kind of hot, a little bit burny, or it starts to feel tight, mm. you need moisturizer um, immediately. Um, somebody who has oily skin may not experience that. So when you get out of the shower, do you guys notice or do you notice that your skin feels hot and dry and tight? I never thought about it, but I no. will now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mine, mine doesn't. No. no, no. Whereas mine, which tends to be on the drier side, yeah. does. And yeah. I have to I have to add hydration straight away. Yeah. Um, so my skin doesn't produce a lot of oil naturally, so I have to add a topical moisturizer. Nice. Um, for adding a rehydration cream, I guess it comes down to the level of dryness as well. So mm -hmm. if you notice that you're starting to get maybe dryness or creping, particularly in the eyelids and the around the eye area, yes, you will be absolutely dehydrated. It doesn't necessarily mean a sign of aging. So a good eye cream is going to work for you. And if you... If you don't like a really shiny look either, you can go to the Kathy Organics website and choose their Marula Rich Moisturizer. It has a very matte finish, so you won't feel like a greasy oil slick, which is yeah. so important too. Absolutely. And it's, a re it's really nice to wear under your makeup, which is yeah. what you were mentioning before. Yeah, so yeah, a really good question. Oh, Rochelle also said, I always thought I had dry skin until a beautician told me, no, I had dehydrated skin. And when I change products, I notice a huge difference. There you go. Absolutely. Yeah. And what's the key to hydration? Drink more water. Mm. You can also get dehydrated teeth. Right. I know, right? <laughs> I learned this. If you ever wake up in the morning <laughs> and your tooth has like a whiter patch on it, it means your teeth are also dehydrated. Wow. I know, weird. The stuff I know. Yeah. So there you go. Lots of great <laughs> questions. I think. Oh, hi, Sean, who's watching watching from somewhere overseas. Good to see you on tonight's live stream. So many of you guys popped in tonight. It's amazing. Oh, it's a hard one. We've had some really good questions. 
I think Aileen's question was a pretty good one, though. Which was that one? That was right from the be very beginning. Yes. Aileen actually asked, um, I have oily skin and dry cheeks, but I also have patches of sebaceous dermatitis. What's the best thing to use on my skin to wash and moisturize? Go for a cream moisturizer. This yes. Kathy Organic Skin Brightening um, Cleanser is Skin Brightening Cleanser is yep. a good one. And then, ladies, what do you think would be mm, the best moisturizer? <laughs> rose hip. Rose hip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think rose hip's the it's winner. A all rounder. Yeah, Just it's totally everywhere. the winner. Yep. Oh, we've had another question come in. Um, girls, yes, I'm guilty. Oh, Latoya's just said, hi from Melbourne. Kia ora to you, Latoya. Rochelle said, yes, I'm guilty. I don't drink water. There you go, Rochelle. Start with the water. Remember, what's on the inside is going to show up and tell the story of your life on the outside and vice versa. Anything you put on your skin will be absorbed into your body. So use everything that is natural. Our bodies are not designed to understand chemicals, no. nasties or numbers. So use something natural on your skin and your health will love you as well. All right, before we go, ladies, so we've got our big winner tonight is Aileen. Fantastic. Congratulations to you. Final tips before we head away. It's been a big live stream tonight, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Alyssa, what would be your big tip you really want to share with people tonight? I have too many. Okay. <laughs> but I just want to say... Add a little bit of lemon to that water and it might make it taste a little bit better and help cleanse your insides. So true. A very good beauty point. What about you, Rachel? What's something, what's something you'd love people to know about when uh, it comes to their skin? I think um, uh, having a really good routine. So morning and night. And it's some, something I probably didn't have at Alyssa's age and I've learned more as I get older because you start to panic and think about well, how your skin's actually gonna gonna deal with getting older, but having a really good cleanse tone, moisturized routine and stay away from the soapy um, products, the ones that dry you out is what I'm talking about, that lathering. And just because it's oily doesn't mean you can add oil. Absolutely, on that note, just because you may have oily skin doesn't mean it's hydrated. That's something I want to leave with you guys and also don't end up like I ended up with the Batman mask of pigmentation. Make <laughs> sure you look after your health and you use a damn good sunblock. Kathy Organics SPF 50 is amazing. It's pretty thick so you only need a small amount. A little goes a long way and it's safe enough to use on kids' skin. All right, there's your special offer. Alyssa, take it away. For the month of August, you will receive 10% off online orders when you use the discount coupon ORG18. That's exactly right. Head to their website, kathyorganics.com. Place your order and you get that special discount. But they even give you a free sample. That's what yes. I love too. So look after your health and be fabulous naturally. All right, it is time for us to head away. I'm Monique Bradley. That's the lovely Miss Kathy Organics herself. That's Alyssa Grogan. Thanks for joining us tonight, Alyssa. Thank you for having me. And a very big thank you to one of our other lovely brand ambassadors, competitive athlete, uh, mum, super mum, yoga practitioner, and she's Rachel with Smarter Mortgages as well. Oh, yeah. Rachel <laughs> from ILG. That's me. That's her. If you want to talk about a Smarter Mortgage, talk to Rachel. She's your lady. All right, we're going to head away. Big thanks to Pete Ward, that online guy, for helping make tonight's live stream possible. We love you guys. And remember, stay beautiful. Love you. Bye. <laughs>